Let's do u sub first and see what happens. I'll take u equal inverse cosine of x. Differentiate both sides. du will be negative 1 over 1 minus x squared dx. But you'll see this right here is not really going to give us anywhere. It's going to be more complicated, huh? Okay, let's see. dx equals negative square root of 1 minus x squared du. And we put it there. We get integral 1 over u. And then dx is negative square root of 1 minus x squared du. Wow. How, how, how do we deal with this? Can we continue or should we stop? What do you think? Let's try it. We can actually continue. Check this out. It looks crazy, but not so bad. As always, x cannot be inside of the u. And by the way, this is a multiplication, so it's more like this. Right, so it's multiplying, so it's like that. But we have to get expression for this guy. U equals inverse cosine of x. This means x equals regular cosine of u. So we can put it here. So ladies and gentlemen, this right here becomes negative integral. Let's put a square root on the top. 1 minus x is cosine of u and then we have that square so it's like this and then divided by u du 1 minus cosine square is sine square in the square root they cancel so we just have sine so ladies and gentlemen this right here is negative integral of sine u over u du but what is this integral though we have never done it before right it's a special integral this is called a sine integral so the answer is just going to be this negative and then sine integral just s i and then of course the input is the u u is the inverse cosine so we just write that down yeah it's like this and i base my answers on Wolfram alpha integral let's have an inverse sine x on the top over inverse cosine x on the bottom in fact there's no identity this is not inverse tangent identity no don't do that right, inverse sine x over that so what do we do u sub yeah you can try it uh, i will use identity though here have a look i would like to tell you guys inverse sine of x plus inverse cosine of x they are complementary angles, meaning that they add up to be 90 degrees. And calculus, we are all adults now, so it's pi over 2. So this right here is the same as saying integral. I want this, so this is the same as pi over 2 minus inverse cosine of x. Yes. So that's the key. If you do it this way, then you can split the fraction and then you will be done. Okay, pi over 2 and then inverse cosine x on the bottom. So it's just that. So it's negative. And then we have the pi over 2. And then that. So the first part. Si and then inverse cosine of x. All right. And the other part is just the integral of minus. What? Oh, yeah. Because th this negative is for that. And then minus, and then this over that is just one, integral one, just x. So that's it. Plus c. Yay. Yeah. 